Divine Feminine. What's up, Booski? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not? Tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. So I am here to do the what the fuck is up with you reading for the next seven days. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, lay some cards down just to see what was going on with you. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single divine feminine. Give no fit nucks. Info for private readings will be below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your head on the way out. Hit the alley. You'll be back in tarot land. Please take the time to check out the community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the community bulletin board, please check the info below the descript I mean the description box below the video. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Love you. So look, Divine Feminine, couple announcements. Number one. Motherfuckers like to mingle with the nun and shit and don't tell them that they got the cold and shit and we got fucking Heineken viruses and Bud Light viruses and shit going around. So I got a cold and shit. That's why the individuals were not put out and that's why this video was coming out right now because my boss is in heaven. My boss is not on earth and when he tell me to sit the fuck down because my messages are different, what I give y'all, then I have to sit the fuck down. So that's number one. Number two, thank y'all that were patient. I mean, it ain't like it's a day late. I mean, shit. But anyway... Uh, what else? Oh, uh, people who are booking with me. I tell some people are saying they're emailing me. I don't know where the fuck y'all emailing because my email works. If you're using the email in, under the dis, uh, in the description box under the video, then I'm getting it. I don't know where, what y'all are emailing. So I send that money back when I don't get an email. Okay. Okay. Um, so check your email, what's your email and make sure it's correct. Are you spelling the shit right? I don't fucking know, but, uh, that's why y'all be getting y'all money sent back. Cause y'all send the shit to the, I mean, you know, anyway, uh, okay. Yeah. So these are the messages that I got the channel messages. I got, I, it says, uh, divine feminine. You're either about to be crowned mother or be sunned. So I took that as. The haves and the fucking have nots, G. Real shit. Because, I mean, who the fuck want to be son? Son is like, all you bitches is my sons, right? So it's either you the mother, you run shit, you're authentically you, or you son. You copying somebody, you, you know what I'm saying, trying to be like somebody else, not being your authentic self. It's the wheat from the chaff still, Divine Feminine. Then I heard the banana versus the banana peel. Even those two must be separated is what I heard. The, you can't eat the banana with the banana peel. You really can't eat the banana peel. I'm, I'm hearing some people do in some old crazy ass land, but really the banana is the substance. So are you the banana or the banana peel is what they said. Then they took me to Mark chapter five, verse 30. It says, Jesus realized at once that healing power had gone out from him. This is the lady who was bleeding for 12 years straight. And she just wanted to touch the hem of his gar his garment. But the part that they wanted me to, uh, Zone in was Jesus realized at once that healing power had gone out from him, right? I tell you about motherfuckers touching you and all kind of shit. It's something about uh, contact, human. I don't know if it's the fucking coronavirus or what, but be careful who's touching you right now, Divine Feminine. Who tapping on you, who touching on you, not just on this whole sick shit, but just period, okay? Because I'm, I'm sure uh, that's not the first time that people touched on Jesus, but she was a faithful servant of God. That's why he knew, because even his disciples told him. He was like, who touched me, G? And they were like, man, there's thousands of people out here. Who, I, it, a thousand people been pushing up against you, JC. And he like, no, nah, it felt different this time because it was a faithful servant. But not everybody touching you was a faithful servant. So be aware, Divine Feminine. But shit, you either going to be crowned mother or be son. So those that get it, get it. Those that don't, oh, well. But oh well, shit. I also heard the people who inspire you won't be here long. And that scared the fuck out of me, okay? But that's what I heard. I heard they don't necessarily die, but I heard uh, God has a purpose for the people that inspire. Like their whole life is not just put here to inspire you. You're put here, they're here to inspire you. You inspire someone, it's like paying it forward. So basically I'm being told that people who inspire you are not to be a crutch, Divine Feminine. They're inspiring you to go out and be yourself, do something with yourself. So don't depend on those people for life. For life, for life. Don't depend on them for life. We see this shit every day. People who inspire us just get taken the fuck out. So that's what I heard. 
I'm sorry, I'm drinking my ginger tea so I can get through this shit, but then they played uh, Alicia Cara, that here song. I'm standoffish, don't want what you're offering, and I'm done talking awfully. Sad it had to be that way. So tell my people when they're ready that I'm ready, and I'm standing by the TV with my beanie low. Yo, I'll be over here, right? Mother or son. Banana versus banana peel. So tell my people when they ready that I'm ready. And I'm standing by the TV with my beanie low. Yo, I'll be over here. I don't mingle with these motherfuckers. I don't uh, interact with these motherfuckers. I feel like a separation, Divine Feminine. And it doesn't feel like, like I know how we've been purging people and shit like that. It feels like a... A draft is what they just said. Yeah, like she said, I'm standoffish, don't want what you offering, and I'm done talking. Awfully sad it had to be this way. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, I feel like it's just a disconnect divine family. I feel like the world is splitting in half, G. <laughs> that's that's kind of what I got from these messages. Like, the world is literally splitting. It's divided. Everything is divided, but, I mean, this is the devil's playground, though. You know what I mean? Like Pac said, we probably in hell already. Our dumb ass is not knowing. It kind of feels like a, you guys remember that movie? If you've ever seen it, it was, it was funny as fuck, but it was stupid too. This is the end, right? When it was like the rapture and shit, but everybody was like at the party and people were just taking up. They're showing me that type of image and not that that's coming, but I feel like they're using that as a metaphor. Like the banana versus the fucking banana peel, dude. You discard the banana peel. You know what I mean? Uh, people slip on banana peels and shit. You know what I mean? Like the bananas where the substance is, the potassium, the vitamins, the the girth and shit. You know what I mean? So I feel like a uh, divine feminine. There's no uh, in between anymore is what I'm hearing. Okay. That's the channel messages I got. So I'll be over here. Whoa, here. That used to be my shit. Did she do anything else? Remember, she was talking about the girl who claimed she had haters. Um, so what she say? But she ain't got none. But she ain't got no motherfucking haters, right? So bitches around acting like, you know what I'm saying? They just got all these fucking pro It makes me feel like it's a lot of fake shit at, around Divine Feminine. Remember, she talked about the boy who was drinking too much liquor in his cup and was throwing up everywhere. It's like, uh, you starting to realize, like, people are fucking idiots. I, who was that? Uh, My homegirl put a meme up. And she said, anybody made after nine, uh, God just start making anybody after 1989. And that's some real shit. No disrespect to anybody born after 1989, but I felt that in my fucking soul. Like he just start making anybody and shit. It's this type shit. Anyway, uh, staff is what you got for the next seven days, which is foundation. Staff lends itself for you to lean on whilst you take stock of where you are on your journey. This is a vital requirement for you right now as you seem to be walking on rather shaky ground and don't feel supported. Your journey has taken many twists and turns and although you have tried to remain focused, your desired destination still feels out of reach. Choose staff as your companion for it will accompany you back to your roots, blah, blah, blah. Most importantly, you are being guided to go back to basics and remember where you have come from. Have you stayed on your path or have you strayed? Looking back and acknowledging what, where, and how you started will bring... Uh, looking back over the years, sorry, and acknowledging what, where, and how you started will bring a fresh, renewed outlook and the strength you need to take this journey to completion. It may be time to start all over again. Keep your eyes firmly on the path before you. Don't let others divert you from your journey. You're right on track. Keep going. Make a commitment and stand strong in your convictions. You are in the perfect position to start anew. Don't back down. Support will be provided. That came out with the moot. Moot. Toil and labor. An old dirty bastard. I like when he come out. Uh, Divine Feminine. A lot of us don't know where the fuck we going. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. That's all the fuck we got, man. I mean, shit, what up? I mean, like I just said, we're not a... Uh... It's just like my aunt, right? My aunt is a doctor and I love her. And so doctors, they think with a different mind. They are like very medical. You know what I mean? Everything is medical. She's so like, you need to get the flu shot. You need to get this. That's why I'm telling y'all. And I'm just like... 
it's two different worlds. It's like in her world, I see why she feels that way. In my world, it looks like a technique to get the sheeple, to get the masses and shit. I just don't believe in that type of, uh, and not saying I don't believe in like going to the doctor when you're sick and shit like that, but mass flu shots and DNA kits and all that shit. I don't fuck with none of that shit. I don't fuck with none of it. Y'all ain't putting shit in me. Y'all ain't taking my DNA. None of that shit. But I understand where she's coming from, but it's two different worlds. I, to me, she's the banana peel. To, to uh, her, I'm the banana peel. You know what I mean? So it's almost like a, I'm done talking. Don't want what you're offering. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just sad it had to be that way. It makes me feel like a real, like, split and a divide, divine feminine. That's why all you have is your staff. You don't know where the fuck you going. You don't even know who going with you at this point. In the next seven days, divine feminine, I feel like shit totally fucking flipped, G. I feel like shit totally fucking flipped. And not necessarily in a bad way, but it's like, I feel like a... Things you're watching, uh, things at your job. I'm hearing restaurants. I don't know what the fuck that means, but they said restaurants. I'm just hearing things are changing around you, like drastically. And it's like, you're going to feel like you're the only one that's awake and seeing the shit go down. Everybody else is just going day to day with they shit. But the way that you're looking at it is like, uh, I don't know, man. It's giving me a weird feeling, Divine Feminine, to be honest with you. It's almost like, uh, this is every, where's that, uh, toil and labor card that I just pulled out? It's like, this is everybody else and shit. You know what I'm saying? They just do going by day to day to day, and it's you. Like, do you motherfuckers not see what the fuck is going on? Right? Like, old dirty bastard. Like, uh, it's almost, Divine Feminine, you know what it is? It's almost like, uh, in the next seven days, you're in disbelief how many people are lost in this fucking world. Basically, G. That's what this shit is. You are in this fucking belief of how many lost people are in this fucking world. People you look up to. That's Maybe that's what they meant when they said uh, the people who inspire you won't be here long. Maybe it's not even that they're not here. It's just you realize those people really didn't inspire you in the first place or those weren't the people to be looking up to in the first place or some shit like that. It's making me feel like a very strong divide, divine feminine. Very strong. And I feel like... Uh, Real, recognize, real, they said. So yeah, so soul families are about to start coming together. I feel like Divine Feminine, if you don't have a lot of friends, which I'm sure you don't, because I mean, shit, we just don't, and shit, I feel like you're about to start meeting some real cool people. You know what I mean? Because all you got is your staff, and the people that you meet, all they have is their staff. That's how everybody came together. It's almost like the disciples is what it's feeling like, but they were still divided. You had the disciples, you had Jesus and his disciples, and then you had the Jews and the Gentiles, you know what I mean? Like the world, it's almost like a separation or some shit like that. I don't know, it feel kind of weird, Divine Feminine, to be honest with you, to be honest with you. I heard, hey, dirty, baby, I got your money, don't you worry. I said, hey, baby, I got your money. Yeah, it's like Divine Feminine, you don't need to know where you're going. You know what I'm saying? Baby, I got your money, don't you worry. That's like God telling you, like, look, just take your staff, you know what I'm saying? I got your money. Don't you worry. Just keep moving, Divine Feminine. I feel like uh, you about to be moving. I feel like regardless of the next seven days, Divine Feminine, something with whatever just shifted because you know I ain't no astrologer. So I don't know shit about new moons and when the shit goes in seven houses and dope houses and project houses and shit. I don't know nothing about that shit. But what I do know, <laughs> what I do know is that whatever transition is happening right now, there is a big fucking division. And you're going to see a lot of people that you're going to be like, motherfuckers just stupid. I feel like Divine Feminine, you're going to uh, find out a lot of people that you are looking up to or um, not even looking up to. But you know how you see people on the street and you be like, oh shit, like motherfucker look like they got it popping. You know what I mean? Like you're, I don't feel like you were necessarily judging people by the, by the outside, but I mean, you're going to see right through it, Divine Feminine. There's not going to be many people that can pull one over on you, buddy. That's what I'm, I'm feeling. It's like uh, you see through the veil or some shit. But that's if you a banana and you've been crowned mother. Now, if you've uh, uh, you been sunned and you a banana peel, you probably, you know what I'm saying, following in with the masses and shit. But for the crowned mothers and shit, bitch, I don't know what. I feel like they're, uh, you know, when uh, before Paul, well, before Paul became Paul, remember, remember he was Saul, right? On his way to Damascus. And remember God put the, blinders on his eyes and shit 
You know what I mean? And so he had to go to straight street and then dude came through, whatever, and all that, for those that know the story. But it feels like those blinders, like uh, those blinders that Saul had on his eyes before he came, before he became Paul, divine feminine, that's what's falling off. That's what, thank you, because I've been trying to explain this shit for 15 minutes, man. Yes, the blinders are coming off. You're turning into Paul, Saul to Paul, divine feminine. And remember, he was a persecutor in the beginning. And then he became a faithful servant. So it's almost like, a, yeah, the divide. You just switch sides. You know what I'm saying? And you had already really switched sides because Paul thought he was doing right when he was persecuting uh, Jews and all that other shit that he was doing. He thought he was right for people that weren't following the law and all that shit. Um, that's why I said my aunt probably thinks I'm the banana peel and I think she the banana peel. You know what I mean? It's the same thing. So it's almost like uh, the banana peels don't know they damn banana peels. That's just what they talk. Bananas, you know what I'm saying? We just got to be fucking bananas. Uh, this shit is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Yeah. Paul found out he was a, a banana after. God took the blinders off, though. Divine Feminine. Not everybody's going to have these blinders off, Divine Feminine, and you are going to see more and more of that in the next seven days. Just blind-ass motherfuckers. This message I can already tell is going to be weird. I see why he told me to wait and get my rest up and shit because uh, I can't be spewing out just bullshit. You know what I'm saying? There's tarot readers and then there's the nun. You know what I'm saying? I can't just be. No. But I hear you, God. Okay. Saul to Paul. Saul to Paul, divine feminine. Some of y'all going to stay Saul, though. You know what I'm saying? And just keep the blinders on. Some of y'all going to turn into Paul, though, too. Dope. Okay. Let's get started. I ain't going to even tell you what I see in the card. Oh, I, they did tell me to tell somebody this, though. Be aware, y'all. Um, you know how we get our uh, fixed candles, our prepped candles and shit? Be aware. I don't know where you're getting them from. Be, oh, they said online. Stop buying them motherfuckers online. That's why yours are popping, they said. Shut to keep it on and popping. Hey, she keep me on and popping. Yep. Hey, 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 say what your name is. Ooh, yeah, that bitch, you girl. Tell me where you're headed. Can I walk with you, girl? You got that look in your eyes. It look like you want to give your boy a good old time. And I'm on it, girl. That's right, I'm on it, girl. Yeah. Tell me where you headed, girl. Divine Feminine with your rod and your staff, girl. That's what's up, Divine Feminine. You keep it on and popping. Just keep it on and popping, Divine Feminine. You don't need to know exactly where you going. Just keep it on and popping. Chris Brown. Okay. <laughs> this message is probably going to be sounding crazy as fuck. Like, how much flu medicine did she take, guys? I didn't take anything, guys. I barely smoked. Maybe that's what's wrong. Maybe it's withdrawals. I don't know. Anyway, Divine Feminine. Uh, the energy and how you feeling about yourself for the next seven days. You got the table, which is the four of wands here. That came out with the journey. Bloop, can you see here? The journey. The star, the three of cups. Aretha Franklin and sudden wealth. You got the free spirit dog. He's not domesticated, tied down, no owner, no leash, no ball, no yard. He just do what the fuck he want to do, right? Then you got the new direction. That came out with the Nine of Cups here and Distant Horizons and Dolly Parton. Working nine to five. Okay. Then you got Dear Delilah. I hate your stinking guts. You're the scum between my toes. You make me vomit, right? But everybody knows Alfalfa really liked Delilah. He was just talking that bullshit. That's what this card is. That came out with the fucking Sea Witch. She always come out, don't she? Uh, Six of Wands. Family Room. And Joan Baez. Divine Feminine, you know when I do these readings, I don't call out signs. This shit either resonate or don't resonate. Okay, okay. Okay, let me turn off this hot ass heater and I'm drinking tea and shit. Like, no, no. No, no. Divine Feminine, generally speaking here. Ugh. Um, I see some of y'all getting y'all kids a, a pet. I'm being told some of y'all are buying a kid a horse, a pet, or some shit like that. It doesn't feel like a dog. It feels like a horse or a, 
like a lamb or uh, some shit like that, a goat. I don't know where the fuck y'all live and shit, but it, you must have room. This shit reminds me of a barn or some shit. So I don't know if you are living in a uh, rural area or farming town, they said. But I don't know if you're getting goats or buying your kid a goat or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Or somebody's, oh, I'm being told somebody's uh. So a kid's father is buying them a horse or a pony? Okay. Y'all got coin, huh? <laughs> Straight up got coin. This would be a celebrity here, they said. Oh, no wonder. Okay, never mind. So there's a, I don't know who be watching this shit. There's some celebrity out there that's buying their daughter a horse or their son a horse or some shit. Okay. Divine Feminine, I see someone that uh, acts like they don't like your ass. That likes your ass, basically. The Sea Witch. I don't necessarily like this Sea That's why I said you're going to be seeing through motherfuckers, Divine Feminine. I feel like uh, they're telling me to tell you not to doubt. If you know somebody is like into you or not into you, shit, dislike you or like you or whatever, it's not for you to try to figure out. You know what you know and shit. You know what I'm saying? You're the fucking banana. You've been crown mother unless you got sunned and you the banana peel. But I'm talking to the crown mothers and the bananas up in here. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to y'all. There's no need to keep questioning that shit anymore. You that bitch, six of wands, you really are. They are focused on you. They are, this person wants to be with you and all that shit, family room. But dear Delilah, I hate your stinking guts. Don't nobody got time for a motherfucker like that, Divine Feminine. Don't, don't nobody have no time for nobody like acting like they don't, you know what I'm saying? Like it almost feels like whoever this is, this person is avoiding you, but they watch you, G. But they watch you. I don't know if this person is trying to build themselves up with the alfalfa car. Maybe uh, they're trying to get a home. You could be trying to get a home right now, build something. But this feels like somebody else. This feels like somebody that watches you, Divine Feminine, that wants a relationship with you, but treats you like shit. And it's not like they treat you like shit, like T.O. Face talks shit to you. They don't talk to you at all, bitch. Ain't no swords out here. They don't even say shit to your ass. But they watch you constantly, G. But your rod and your staff comfort you. That's why I said you don't need to fucking wonder or worry if this motherfucker want to fuck with you or not. Who give a fuck? You know what I'm saying? You can't stop. That's what it says. Shorty keep it on and popping. You know what I'm saying? More than likely, this a banana peel. Somebody that's been sunned. More than likely. Anyway. Or that's you, shit. You watching somebody like that. I feel like a lot of y'all, the things that you did want, Divine Feminine, relationships that you possibly wanted with certain people, possibly a masculine energy, I feel like a lot of y'all are setting yourself free from that shit. This dog is headed towards the four of wands, but that feels like it's headed more towards your stability because remember, the dog is not domesticated. This dog is single. So this dog is running towards the four of wands by themselves. They don't want, they're not trying to build anything. That's why I said, I know this is the crown mother right here. I know this is you, Divine Feminine. Because you headed towards stability, period. Just being happy. That's why I said you about to meet new people, your soul family and shit. This car kind of freaked me out because I don't understand why the damn donkey under her dress is a little strange for some change. But this car means to enjoy the journey. It's like the fool card. You just want to live your life, G. You know what I'm saying? We going riding on the freeway called Love in a pink Cadillac. We all got jilted hearts here. This is my jilted heart card, but shit. Sudden wealth. It's just so much other shit out there for us, Divine Feminine. To, to be thankful for it's this is saying don't worry about the destination here we're getting there the dog is running towards the four of wands just keep it on and pop in just keep it on and pop in divine feminine that person that i was telling you about that's spying on you that uh is not talking to you this is somebody that would touch the hem of your garment you would feel this person you would feel your healing power coming out of you if this person ever got near you i feel like this person is a an energy vampire, divine feminine. Could be your masculine or somebody that wants you, period, but they're turning into an energy vampire because they won't approach you. So now they're just gay. I mean, look at his fucking face, G. I mean, look at that shit. Like, he focused, man. Look at Joan Baez. Focus, man. Look at the fucking sea witch. Focus, man. Whoever this is, divine feminine. It doesn't necessarily feel like a you in danger or any shit like that, but I feel like divine feminine people that are, uh, <clears throat> how can I say this? In awe of you, divine feminine, I kind of want to tell you to stay away from people like that, to be honest with you, G. Only reason I say that is because, uh, 
the student is the teacher and the teacher is the student. You know what I'm saying? There is no one should really be above the other, even though I did just tell you the banana versus the banana peel. But people who know that the teacher is the student and the student is the teacher, all of those people are crown mothers and bananas. You know what I'm saying? If that made sense to anybody, what I'm saying, it's like birds of a feather flock together. So none of us feel uh, superior over the other. You know what I mean? Because everybody has their own specific gift and their own specific talent, whatever it is the fuck they do. Whoever this person is, is very... Uh, insecure divine feminine or this is you shit whoever this is but that's why i said be careful of people in all of you people trying to touch on you g i don't feel like everybody should have been touching on the hem of jesus's garment i feel like he should have had way more protection you know what i mean but i mean it was back then and maybe that's the best he could do but i mean i'm sure he was drained a lot g and we are not jesus so i'm just saying protect your energy g for real Some of y'all are saving up for a trip, a vacation. I feel like you've been saving up way longer than seven days, but I do. You must be almost finished or something. Like literally, like you are about to be done and literally take the fuck off. I don't know if y'all going on a cruise, a plane, something, but it's somewhere you always wanted to go, Divine Feminine, Nine of Cups. You worked hard for that shit too. Enjoy, Booski. Send me back a keychain. I see a singing group out here. I honestly feel like, I don't know who this is for, Divine Feminine, but there's a group of girls who are in a singing group and only one is gonna get picked. I don't know if y'all try to go in together, but shit, welcome to fucking Hollywood. You could go in a girl group and they be like, we just want Beyonce, bitch. Sorry, Latavia, uh, Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, Mike, all you motherfuckers, sorry, we just want Beyonce type shit. Star with the three of cups. Some of y'all gonna get picked out of a whole crowd of bitches to do something, Divine Feminine. I don't, I, I don't know if it's a relationship. You know how I feel about getting picked out of bitches when it comes to that. But in regards to an audition or job or uh, trying to get a home and shit, I feel like you get picked out of a whole lot of fucking people, G. <clears throat> Real shit. Some of y'all get compensated for some car. Compensated for a car. Oh, some. I guess you guys have a car trying to sell a car. We going riding on the freeway called Love in a Pink Cat. Somebody trying to sell a Cadillac. <laughs> Okay. I feel like you're going to sell it too. I'm being told, take that baby for a spin one more time. No. It's a nice caddy too, I'm hearing. Mm. Okay. Some of y'all going to find some money in your house or around your home. And I mean, not like coins, like some money, like... Like, oh shit, a motherfucker can go to the store and like actually buy groceries, like some money. It's just gonna be like laying around your house, Divine Feminine. Either, it's either gonna blow, like like past your front door, like you're just gonna walk out, like you could tell it just blew on your grass, blew on your doors, blew something, but you're gonna find some money. Not all of y'all, I mean, come on now. But uh, some of y'all will find some money in the next seven days. Yeah, some somebody definitely getting picked. I keep picking this up, Divine Feminine, for it's like some... I don't know what y'all do. Acting, singing, dancing. Uh, I don't know what the fuck y'all do, man. It, look at this shit. That is a fucking star right there. That is. We are dream girls. It's like some type of music or acting or something like that. I feel like you get chose, G. I do. I don't know who that's for. I keep picking that shit up. I wish you say your name so we can get up out your energy because we ain't all actresses, actors, and rappers and musicians up in this bitch. So, let us know who you is. <clears throat> Some of y'all need to stop watching so much motherfucking TV, G. <laughs> really. Like, it's, it's just like, damn. You know what I'm saying? That's all the fuck you do. Or YouTube or something. You know what I mean? It's something that you guys are watching a lot of. It's distracting you. You don't even finish building things, whoever that's for. See that half-ass built shit on the side and you start something else? I feel like a TV or social media or some shit like that. There's something that, uh... This is not everybody. This is probably for the banana peels and the ones that's getting sunned and shit. There's something that you guys are following way too much, like trying to be emulate is what they said. Emulate. 
I, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't get down with motherfuckers who try to be like other motherfuckers. I just don't. I don't like that shit. I never have. I never will. Ain't nobody ever going to convince me that that shit is cool. Ain't nobody ever going to convince me that God put you on this earth to do what the fuck I do. You know what I'm saying? To do it exactly like me. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, then that's a waste. Then, then what I said with the meme is true. You were probably born after 1989 and God just started making any motherfucking body then. If that's the case, so then you can wear that. You can wear that. You know what I'm saying? But to me, this feels like people that emulate people or that watch people or want to be like someone and shit. That shit is sad to me, yo. It, to me, it is. So, and we ain't even in the be aware section. I hope that's not you, Divine Feminine. If that's not you, that's somebody that's emulating you, wanting to be just like you, G. They want to be your fucking son. All these bitches is my sons, basically. And I'm going to go and get some bibs for them. A cup of formula. Little pretty lids on them. If I had a, what she say? If I had a dick, I would pull it out and piss on them. Basically. Basically. That's what this is. I feel like you got sons, <laughs> Divine Feminine. You got sons in the next seven days, basically. Damn. I mean, you don't give a fuck because the dog is leaving them and shit. Like, bitch, that ain't my one. But the kid is not my son. Bitch, I ain't got no motherfucking sons. Yes, you do, Divine Feminine. You either crown mother or you son. So shit, if all these bitches is your sons, then you must be crown mother. That's just what it is. You know what I mean? I feel like you don't give a fuck, but please know that shit. These bitches is your sons. I mean, I'm just telling you. You still headed towards where you're going, but shit, that's what it is. Thy rod and thy staff comfort you. I didn't say approach the bitch, say nothing or nothing. I'm just saying, bitch, you got sons. Shit. We don't never hear about all the people that pretended to be uh, the Messiah in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? But best believe Jesus had people all up in his shit talking about they was Jesus 2.0 and all that shit. They don't tell you that in the Bible, but I mean, if history repeats itself, come on. How many people were walking around probably talking about they knew him and they did shit just like them and they perform miracles just like them. But you know what I was telling you? That's why I said the, the, the blinders fall off of people's eyes. So people know the real fucking shepherd. You know what I'm saying? People know the real motherfucker. So like y'all tell me, don't worry, none. Everybody knows who the original and all that shit is. I'm going to tell y'all the same shit, but that shit is so fucking annoying. That shit is so fucking annoying. G moving on. You're being emulated, Divine Feminine. In the next seven days. I just see y'all setting yourself free from a, like, it just feels like a divide, Divine Feminine. That's all I can say. This reading is very weird. It's not really giving me, like, the messages like I normally would get. <clears throat> There's just a divide in the energy. Like, uh, it feels like a divide between divine feminines. It feels like a divide between divine masculines. It feel, almost feels like a, a purging of sorts. <laughs> Basically, a purging of sorts is what they said. Yeah. You notice they taking people out, divine feminine. Like that little, uh... That little rapper dude they killed out here, I ain't never heard of him. And he looked hella fucking old. I'm like, that little old motherfucker 20? That motherfucker look old. What was his name? Uh, My grandma told me about the shit. How about that? Uh, The dude that got killed up in Hollywood. Long story short, though. My whole point is, I don't know who he was trying to be or what he was trying to become, but you can't put your address and your name and all that shit on Instagram and not think that motherfuckers is coming to get your shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, maybe he was here too. And that's why I said, be careful, Divine Feminine, who the fuck you let touch the hem of your motherfucking garment, G. That's that type shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he came here to inspire or whatever he did, but like they said, they won't be here for long. So maybe he inspired motherfuckers to keep their fucking address and they fucking business and how much money they make all fucking line. That type shit. I feel like uh, it feels like dumbass people and wise people, literally divine feminine. There is no more middle, and I'm wondering what how a mother. None of that shit no more. None of we seeing this shit every fucking day. Like motherfuckers is just dumb. Period. That's what's going on in the next seven days. I feel like you're going to uh, realize exactly where you fall in, Divine Feminine, and not to be rude, you know what I mean? But it's almost like it's no more of that, well, should I still deal with Roger while he's dealing with Samantha? Like, 
If you a fucking banana peel, you should. And you and you been sunned, yeah, you should. But a crown mother and a whole fucking banana would never ask no shit like that. That's the shit I'm talking about, Divine Feminine. It's not like a, and it's not to come down on anybody, but it's almost like you know what you need to do. You know what I mean? So it's like a, there's no sense in you calling yourself a Divine Feminine at this point and still operating out of low vibe and shit or wondering if you should still tolerate low vibe and shit or emulate other people or, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, try to build with somebody who's building with someone else and all this other shit. It's almost like, I don't, I feel like the, the time for playing stupid is over. Divine feminine is what they're basically telling me. Ain't none of us dumb. You know what I'm saying? Or else you wouldn't have been here in the first place. You wouldn't have been guided here. So all that I don't know and all that shit, I feel like that shit's off the fucking table. Because God talks to us all every day. It's just do we choose to hear him? Shit, period. What's Divine Feminine need to be aware of for the next seven days? I did see somebody building a home, though, or having a home built. Like from the ground up type shit. That's what's up, Divine Feminine. Maybe you got some land or something. Or you got some property, they said. Property. That's what's up. So what you need to be aware of is not setting yourself free. This is my transparency card because she ain't got no panties on. This is my transparency card. That's why I said, be aware. That's why I said, booby trap. That's why I said, be aware of not being your fucking self. Fuck all that bullshit. I'm t I, look, I don't give a fuck. I'm tired of seeing fucking tarot readers sounding like other fucking tarot readers. I'm tired of seeing other musicians sound like other musicians. I'm tired of seeing Nas 2.0 and Little Nas and Big Nas and I mean all these motherfucking replicas. Like is anybody fucking genuine any fucking more? Is there anybody just, it's that type of shit. Be aware, Divine Feminine. Cause like I tell y'all all the time, to me, if, this is my opinion. It feels like it would be a slap in God's face for him to go through all that work and time to create you, right? To be this one special being that no one else is like, just you. And then you want to be like another motherfucker. It's almost like, no, God, I don't like what you want me to do, so I want to be like this motherfucker. Be aware of not setting yourself free from that bullshit, Divine Feminine, in the next seven days. Real shit. Or setting yourself free from bullshit, period. That, like I said, it's it's... No more time for to be like, I don't know, and what should I, none of that shit. That shit been over. That shit been over. Kobe dead, okay? When Kobe died, I feel like that shit shifted everything. And I, I like I said, I ain't gonna talk too much about Kobe or get too much in it. But something when that man died, I don't really know what that has to do with everything. But it damn sure woke motherfuckers up like a... Uh, Shit, a half a billion dollars can fucking go like that. Who the fuck is he? You know what I mean? So who the fuck are you, Divine Feminine? You better live while the fuck you here and stop trying to be like another motherfucker. For those that are, be aware. Shit. I would hate for you to go up uh, to heaven and shit and God be like, well, I mean, I, when you were down there, I told you to do this and you were being like Beyonce and shit. Like, what happened to the shit that I fucking told you, G? I mean, shit. Be aware. Those that inspire you won't be here long is what they said, remember? So shit, you better hurry up and get fucking inspired and start moving shit. Seven of Cups here, the spinning top came out. Be aware, Divine Feminine, of just being a fucking open fucking vessel, Divine Feminine, for any fucking thing to inhabit your body, your soul, your spirit and shit. This looks like a be aware, Divine Feminine, like I told you, motherfuckers touching the fucking hem of your garment and shit. You ain't Jesus. So that's why you got to protect your energy. This look like free spirits and shit. Don't know. They just roam. Seven of cups. They just all over the place. Be aware, divine feminine, the environment you are putting yourself in in the next seven days. And people touching you. Okay? People touching you, G. I keep picking that up real strong. I don't know what it is. I don't know if people are trying to pass things to you or pull something out of you. Or it could be fucking both. But be aware in the next seven days. Mm. That's why when I went to my uncle's funeral and shit, I kept gloves on the whole time. You know, you got to shake a motherfucking hand the whole time and shit. I had gloves on the whole fucking time. I think the fuck not. I think the fuck not. No. Shit like that, Divine Feminine. This is making me feel like a, they're telling me to go back to the open vessel thing. Okay. So basically, Divine Feminine, you know how the Bible says that when a spirit is cast out of a person, it usually goes back to the 
sender, right? But if, uh, what is it? The sender is not a, what is it? It's the devil gets, I mean, if the spirit gets cast out of the person and that person doesn't get in, basically doesn't find God, right? Let's just, I'm going to just break it down because I can't word it word for word. But basically what it says is if a, like, let's say an evil spirit is cast from a person. So you, let's say just, I don't know, fucking around with somebody who's married or whatever the fuck, some low vibe and shit, right? And you stop doing that shit. If you don't fill that void with something high vibing, you know what I'm saying? Something positive and shit you will inhabit even more spirits than the one that you just had. It's like, it gets filled with more bad shit. So let's say, okay, I stopped talking to Doug cause Doug's still fucking with Rhonda. So fuck him. Right. And so, okay, well fuck Doug and Rhonda. Right. Then you go out drinking and driving and smoking and start fucking other people. That's three fucking spirits. You just invited in drinking, smoking and fucking other people. You was doing better with just fucking with Doug. That was the one spirit. Be, be aware divine feminine that, uh, you ridding yourself of, one bad thing and not filling it with something positive, which I'm feeling is like God's glory, God's grace. You know what I'm saying? Something high vibing, something spiritual, not replacing it with something spiritual. Be aware that, uh, more low vibing shit will inhabit you will inhabit your body is what they keep saying. Will inhabit your body will inhabit your body. More low vibing spirits will come to inhabit your body is what they said. Yeah, you gotta fill that shit up. It's like they say, when you stop one bad habit, you have to replace it with something or else you'll go back to it or you'll do something worse. Be aware of that shit, Divine Feminine, in the next seven days. You gotta, look, shawty keep it on and popping. You know what I'm saying? Keep fucking moving is what it is. It's almost like, it feels like a, it, what they're making me feel like is like safe for some of y'all that are like waiting on your divine masking or waiting on love and all that shit. And it's like, yeah, cause I stopped fucking with him because he wasn't giving me what I want. That's fine and shit. But what the fuck are you doing now? Are you just sitting there waiting on love? Because now other shit, anxiety's coming in, depression, you ain't got, you know what I'm saying? You're inviting more spirits because you're not filling in that space with something. Do something for another motherfucker, maybe divine feminine. Be aware that shit is just sitting around because uh, an empty vessel will be inhabited, I'm hearing. And not by the shit you want it to be inhabited by. Inhabited. I don't know why I can't say that word. Inhabited. That's what they keep saying. Okay. And you don't know, I mean, shit, this is Seven of Cups. Y'all know this illusion. This could be anything. In the regular deck, the Seven of Cups, there's something under the sheet. There's a serpent there, a dragon. It's all kind of shit. You know what I mean? It makes me feel like uh, you would just be vulnerable. Be aware of being an open vessel to vulnerable. I mean, be aware of being vulnerable to spirits, divine feminine, that don't belong there. Three of swords, basically. And that can only happen by being stagnant and not filling that void with something else productive, divine feminine, is what I'm saying to you here. So it's like, yeah, you stop fucking with Doug, but you watch that motherfucker Instagram all fucking day. You know what I'm saying? Like, so really you just replaced two. You just replaced it again. Cause technically you, st you still fuck with Doug. Cause you still keep looking. And second, now you on the Instagram. Now you didn't inhabit it two fucking extra spirits. That's why they're making me feel like it's an empty vessel. Like anybody, like a fucking squatter. Be aware of letting your fucking spirit be squatted by like other shit, divine feminine. You know what I mean? In the next seven days. Yeah. A squatter. Be aware of squatter spirits, divine feminine. Who is touching the hem of your fucking garment, G? Damn. Okay. Hmm. They make me feel like it's a stain or something, like a, something you can't really get rid of, divine feminine. Because it's almost like uh, the sicker you get or the more and more that things pile on, the harder and harder it is to get rid of them. So yeah, it was like, you got rid of Doug, but you should have filled that up with jogging, going to the gym, you know what I mean? Volunteering, some other shit, but it's like, no, nah, then I started spying on Doug. You know what I mean? So it's like, you didn't really fill it with high vibe and shit, so it just festers, it spreads. You know what I'm saying? It's like a fucking virus and shit. Be aware of that shit in the next seven days. Be aware y'all saying y'all, uh are healed from some shit, some third party shit or some heartbreak. And you really not be aware of being confused of what healed really is divine feminine seven of cups here with the three of swords. You know what I'm saying? Talking about I am free. I'm setting myself. No, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they're making me feel like people are claiming to be 
healed or claiming to be free, claiming to be something. And that shit is bullshit, divine feminine. I don't know who the fuck this is for. It's making me feel like the banana versus the banana pill, though. It's like you can, I guess, look, okay. Yeah, it don't even matter, they said. Really, because it's not, it don't even matter what the fuck we think, really. I mean, if you were divine feminine, like I said, my boss ain't on earth. You know what I mean? So that's why I don't answer to nobody on this motherfucker. And real divine feminines know what I mean. You know what I mean? So the ones that really are healed, our father knows. The ones that are not and claiming that he's healed them and he's done all these things for them and all this shit and all that, that's basically taking the Lord's name in vain. It's not that he can't do those things, but it's almost like you haven't uh, utilized him in that way. So why are you telling people that shit? You know what I mean? It's like... I don't know. It feels like a be aware of owning false responsibilities, <laughs> divine feminine in the next seven days. What on uh, setting yourself free here? Why is this here for divine feminine? Oh, moonshiner and the county fair. This is the world card with the knight of cups here. Be aware, Divine Feminine, somebody uh, might have possibly ended some relationship elsewhere, set themselves free, right? To come and, like, possibly offer you something. I don't know. It's still some confusion behind that shit. And I feel like there's still other motherfuckers. So I'll put it to you this way, Divine Feminine. Like I said, those where the blinders are going to come off and you become Paul and not Saul. A lot of y'all are going to find out, and this is, I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, but a lot of y'all are going to find out that, uh, you have a divine masculine or a masculine who cut out a karmic, the one you know about. <laughs> There's still seven of cups and the three of swords here. So it's almost like be aware, divine, uh, feminine of people trying to, uh, clean up the things about them that you know and not clean up the things about them that you do not know. So let's just say like, you know, your divine masculine was messing with some bitch named Lisa. So he like, well, I want to come back to my divine feminine, so I'm going to get rid of Lisa. But he ain't told you about Tisha, Lawanda, Tawanda. Be aware, divine feminine. Just going by what a motherfucker tell you. You know what I'm saying? Just by what you like see on the outside. You know what I mean? It's like, dig deeper, G. Be aware not. That's why I said this empty vessel shit here. It's almost like anything can inhabit. So this person can come and tell you, I got rid of Lisa. And you'd be like, okay, we're back on. And it's like, no. Like now you got Tisha, Louisha, Luanda, Tawanda, four extra bitches, four extra squatter spirits and shit when you just thought it was the one, Lisa. You know what I mean, Divine Feminine? Be aware of thinking that uh, shit is one way. <laughs> shit is, I'm, I'm, I'm being told shit's real deep. It goes way, like so, so Madame says, shit go way deeper down the fucking rabbit hole type shit. Be aware of not knowing how deep shit goes, Divine Feminine, and going, getting involved in some shit here. And that would definitely be for the fucking banana peels here. Definitely. Not for the bananas, but for the banana peels and for the suns. For real. Because it looks like y'all are, uh, it looks like I'm, they're telling me like some of y'all believe what someone is telling you. And this person knows that you're naive. You know what I mean? They know what you know. So it's like, well, shit, if I can just tell her what the fuck, you know what I'm saying, she wants to hear because that's all the fuck she knows. She don't know about Tisha, Lawanda, Tawanda. Shit, I'm just going to tell her I stopped fucking with Lisa. It's almost like be aware of being gullible, Divine Feminine, in the next seven days. Real shit. Be aware of that shit. We're on the spinning top. The crossroads. So you won't be lonely. Yeah. Why the, what the fuck? The devil got on sandals and shit? What the fuck? Or he got chicken feet? I don't know what this is. Or it's a ram. Be aware, Divine Feminine, of being led astray in the next seven days. I swear this feel like for the suns and banana peels, man. <laughs> I swear. Uh, I feel like uh, this ain't for everybody here. Seven of cups with the devil at the crossroad. This you not knowing where the fuck you going. Like, uh, you can be led anyway. I told you, this motherfucker just done sold a motherfucker a musket. Like, sure, I'll use a musket, right? Just don't even know. Like, just going by what a motherfucker tell you, Divine Feminine. Be aware of that shit. I'm picking that up very heavy. So I don't know if people are returning. It is still Mercury retrograde. Motherfuckers trying to tell, I tell these hoes whatever they want to hear in my 50 cent voice. Be aware of that shit, Divine Feminine, in the next seven days. I feel like a lot of y'all about to be a uh, dupe, G. Really. I don't know. 
and it's by a love offer. It's not a... Uh, and honestly, the crazy shit about it is if you look at this thing, this man is offering this man a violin and shit. It's almost like this man is looking at it like, I can't do shit with this, but he still fucking take it. That's why I said this, that's why I told you, Divine Feminine, be aware of acting like you don't know. You know, yeah, acting like you don't know. It's almost like you are too trusting. Be aware of being too trusting and shit. Follow your intuition. If you consider yourself a Divine Feminine, because this is a Divine Feminine read. This ain't no uh, Aquarius, Aries, none of that shit. This is a divine feminine read, so I feel like me personally, you would be held to a higher standard as far as being a woke motherfucker. So should nobody be able to convince you to buy a fucking musket? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck you need a musket for and shit? But this is somebody very convincing divine feminine for some of y'all, but this would be the ones who are Saul and not Paul. You know what I'm saying? The banana versus the banana peel, the crown mother versus the son and shit. I don't know divine feminine. It feels like a even more harsh split in the collective to be honest with you it does one on the three of swords luxury four of cups with the three of swords here four of cups is usually uh missing an opportunity in the in the regular tarot deck here but this is be aware of being attached to monetary things you know what I'm saying? Things we can't, can't take with us when we dead type shit. Luxury, money, jewels, homes, all that shit. Being attached to all that shit. Three of swords and shit. Be aware, Divine Feminine, that a lot of you guys are uh, experiencing a lot of discomfort, I'm being told, because you're still attached to those things. Or you just buying unnecessary ass shit like musket. Shit, seven of cups. Be aware, just buying bullshit, Divine Feminine. Real shit. In the next seven. Just buying shit, because really ain't no pinnacles came out here. So that's how I knew this reading was going to be. Well, we'll see. It usually comes out in the outcome, though, too. But uh, this reading feels kind of spiritual a little bit because it feels different. It doesn't feel like uh, it has anything to do with the relationship. I'm sure there are some that are waiting on a relationship still, and I feel like you are the ones that are empty vessels and shit. Like, because the relationship that you need to be fixing is the one with the most high. You know what I mean? I just told somebody the other day, the way that you love your divine masculine or the way that you want love, you know what I'm saying? The way that y'all like, I just want to be in a relationship. You should feel that way about God first and I promise you all that other shit gonna come. Or you just won't give a fuck about it because you're gonna be so fulfilled in the Father, in the Lord, in God, that none of that shit, this shit, it ain't gonna matter. You're gonna be happy every fucking day with him. I promise you, you will. You know what I'm saying? Not that every day is just a great grand day and because that would be some bullshit. But I'm saying ain't nothing ever that bad. You know what I'm saying? There's always a silver lining or there's always um, some light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to God. That's why you don't be attached to this shit. That's why you know tomorrow is going to be okay if he grants me tomorrow. I know I'm going to eat. I know I have. It's almost like that. It's like a secure. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me, divine feminine. So that's basically what this whole reading is about. It's like detaching yourself from bullshit finally once and for all and shit, you know? And stop acting like you don't know what the fuck going on. That's for somebody. They're making me feel like uh, people are walking around here acting like, you know what I'm saying? It's okay to still be involved in fuck shit. That's how they're making me feel. Like people are like, yeah, well, maybe if I just fill in the blank, I don't know. Ain't no such things as halfway crooks. You either in or you fucking out. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, no nobody do that shit. And it's kind of the same thing with this divine shit. That's like Jesus saying, well, I'm only the Messiah between nine and five. You know what I'm saying? Like he read from the fucking five heartbeats and shit. Nah, this shit a 24, seven fucking job and shit that we're always striving to be better at. We ain't never going to accomplish this. Uh, like I told somebody like this optimal spirituality where we just reach the peak. That would be God himself. So we'll never meet that. But damn, shouldn't we strive? Should we uh, at least the shit that we already know that we should not be doing and the things we know that we should be doing, shouldn't we strive to do that instead of going backwards and buying muskets and shit from the devil? It's like, didn't that book say that? Going backwards. Where is it? Let me see. It did say that somewhere. Hold on, y'all. Ba, pa pa ta 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 Uh... I swear that shit says something about going backwards here. 
looking back and acknowledging where blah 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 blah. It may be time to start all over again. Yeah. Maybe not, so not necessarily going backwards, but I mean, shit, it's rock bottom. It feels like the ones that are uh, the banana peels and the ones that are getting sunned, I feel like it's a restart button. There's something that's like missing, like where it's like a, it's almost like we all got our report card at the end of the year at Divine University and we're finding out who goes to the next grade. And some of them are finding out they have to start all the way over from the beginning, which is a blessing in itself because you didn't get kicked the fuck out the school. You just gotta start over. Shit, that is a blessing. That's mercy, Divine Feminine. That's why I said, you are happy in the Lord when you love him like you uh, more than, I should say, than this Divine Masculine or this relationship or this money or whatever it is that you want. Shit, that's unmerited, unwarranted mercy. We ain't did shit for that shit. You know what I mean? That's the motherfucker that really love you right there. I'm just saying, though. Some of y'all get that, some of y'all don't, shit. Bananas versus the banana peel, shit. One is the substance, one is not, shit. Who has stolen the most virginities is what came out on top of uh, the Set Yourself Free card, the Old Moonshiner, and the County Fair, which is the world card here. That's why I told you about whoever this is, Divine Feminine, whoever this person is that dumped Lisa, but didn't tell you about Tisha, Lawanda, Tawanda and shit, who was stolen the most virginities. Be aware of being green, Divine Feminine, in the next seven days. This is a sweet talking ass motherfucker right here. Be aware, Divine Feminine, whoever this person is. Cops, come and try to snatch my crops. Crops gonna be gone, Divine Feminine. I heard this person is uh, like the locust, he said. The locust. And I don't even know who you are, sir. Who are you? <laughs> Got a very deep voice. The locust, divine feminine. Be aware of the locust, divine feminine. Be aware of people touching the hem of your garment and be aware of the locust. Damn. Yeah, this is somebody, yeah, who has stolen someone's virginity. You know, when locusts come over a crop, you hear them, you know what I mean? They cover that shit, whole fucking crop be gone. Have you ever seen a locust swarm? Locust swarm over like just some crop and shit. It fucking destroys the whole fucking thing. Be aware of this person, Divine Feminine. Be aware of people like this. These uh, squatter spirits, like I said. You'll know because your crop will start to disappear is what I'm being told. I feel like they come in the form of people. Yes, these squatter spirits. But if your shit starts uh, depleting, you know what I mean? And it's not increasing around people in the next seven days. That's a locust. Be aware of the locust. Damn. Okay. One on the seven of cups and the crossroads. Least likely to wash their hands after taking the shit. Look, look, be aware not washing your hands on the real shit with this whole, all this shit going around, period. But like I said, just keep gloves on like I fucking do. You know what I'm saying? It could be fucking 90 degrees outside and I'm like that bitch in X-Men and shit. <laughs> Wasn't she Suki in uh, True Blood, but she played, what was her name, Rogue? Yeah, that's me with them fucking gloves on. And nice to meet you too. I do not fuck with these motherfuckers. Look at, even the devil know. Even the devil know. Put them fucking gloves on. Look, I ain't even playing. Most li least likely to wash their hands after taking the shit, Divine Feminine. Be aware, Divine Feminine, like I said, of y'all acting like y'all are dumb with some shit or y'all are these different people and you're really not. It's not like it's... Number one, I don't want you to feel bad like you have to be this uh, healed being. Oh, none of us are healed and shit. I got some resentment, some baggage and all that shit. We all do. But what I'm saying is be aware of acting like the fuck you don't. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Keep it 100. Keep it a motherfucking stack up in this bitch. Be aware of not keeping it a fucking stack with yourself. It ain't even us you gotta worry about. It's yourself. That's for those that are sitting around and shit and still wondering where this person is and what should they do and all that shit. It's almost like uh, you still got shit on your hands, G. You still want, I had to, I mean, honestly, divine feminine, what I'm going to ask y'all for those that are still wondering about somebody that's been fucking around with somebody else and lied to you and all this other shit, please answer me in the comments why you feel like you deserve a motherfucker like that, please. Cause I, I, I feel, stay off my freaking grass, please. Right. I feel like, uh, me and the other mothers, you know what I'm saying? The crown mothers and the bananas, we want to know. I want to know. I want to know why you feel like you deserve somebody like that. Real shit. 
because then maybe I'll understand the whole situation because it just seems like a, that's why there, it's almost like a, people are like, I don't know why I still want him. I don't know why I still want somebody like that. But you do, you do know and shit. It's, that's because that's what you choose. It's a lustful thing. Let's just call it what it is. Dick, dickmatized. That's all that shit is. Keep it a stack about you being sprung over some dick, divine feminine, in the next seven days. For those that are sitting there waiting on the motherfucker talking about it's they divine masculine. No, nah, a lot of y'all, that's just some dick. Real shit. Because uh, after, I'm a firm believer that when you meet your divine masculine or come into contact with him and he does take you to that rock bottom shit, you know what I mean? And y'all go through that whole separation phase, there should become a point where uh, you, uh, like, I mean, literally become the phoenix rising from the ashes and you never become that person again. You're never in danger of being in a situation like that again or anything like that with anybody. You're the, you can still be with your divine masculine, but it's almost like you should become stronger. If you're not becoming stronger since you met your divine masculine, you have been digmatized. Be aware of that shit in the next seven days. I ain't here to sugarcoat shit. This the motherfucking convent. You came down the fucking alley to get here. Shit. So that's what it is, dick. Own that shit. That's what the devil is here. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to convince you that it's a divine relationship. Like, nah, it might have started out like that. But shit, after that, once you started getting stagnant and shit, and the motherfucker can come and tell you that he stopped fucking with Lisa, but he got Tisha, Lawanda, Tawanda, and the blinders were taking off your eyes, and you call yourself a divine feminine, and you know your rod and your staff comfort you. You know all this shit, and you still like, I don't know why I want him. It must be dick. Look. <laughs> dick. Shit. Let's keep it 100, Divine Feminine. If we gonna talk, let's talk, G. Shit. So some of y'all need to deal with the fact that y'all just like to fuck, period. It ain't got shit to do with Divine Masculine or none of that shit. So that's some type of spirit, like I said, that squatter spirit that needs to be healed in you, period, point blank. Moving the fuck on. One on the Three of Swords and the Luxury Car here. Divine Feminine need to be aware of in the next seven days. Most likely to be fired for sexual harassment. Yeah, it's all a lot about sex out here. Virginities, well, at least, well, not the shit part, but yeah. It feels real uh, sexual, Divine Feminine. Be aware of uh, being uh, lusty is what it's making me feel like. It's okay to embrace your sexuality because a bitch feels sexy all the motherfucking time. I ain't mad at the shit, but I ain't out there fucking and shit, you know what I mean? Or out there, like, it just makes me feel like... Y'all know, a lot of y'all don't know what love is, Divine Feminine, is what they're telling me. And a lot of us didn't know. Shit, we all still fucking learning. But I can tell you this much, it ain't dick. I, I know that for 100% sure. You know what I'm saying? If that's the case, I done loved a lot of motherfuckers and not like that. But I'm just saying, if that's the case, then why I ain't with none of them? Why you ain't with none of them and shit? Because it's all dick. Don't you see the pattern, G? Give a fuck if it's a Divine Masculine or not. Don't cheapen it, you know what I'm saying, by turning it into something lusty. Be aware of that shit in the next seven days. Be aware of putting yourself out there like that. Like I said, most likely to be fired for sexual harassment. It's like looking at, being looked at like, like a thirst bucket, G. You know what I mean? Like, Divine Feminine, be aware of putting yourself out there on display like, like you've like, like working the fucking red light district and shit. You know what I mean? It feels like a... They're just showing me like somebody like on a display and how they spin around and shit like in a case or some shit like you for sale or some shit. Be aware of selling yourself divine feminine. It's like trying to get somebody to notice you or to come and purchase you or some shit like that is what they're making me feel like. Like, uh, like on the, like you on the fucking QVC or some shit. Like, you know what I mean? Be aware of like putting yourself out there like that. Royalty don't do shit like that. Crown mother don't do shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker already know crown mother. You can't even buy that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Fucking heart's way too fucking expensive and shit. So that's not, that's some like, uh, you know what I mean? Some old private buyer shit. That shit ain't even on TV or on display. Be aware of putting yourself on display like it, like you're all accessible, Divine Feminine, in the next seven days. And I say that, I mean to get other people's attention, to draw in like some, someone. It feels like someone specific, Divine Feminine, to be honest with you. It feels like you're trying to draw in someone. Or someone is trying to draw you in, but I'm asking what you need to be aware of, so. It's probably both of y'all. Devil trying to sell you a musket and you trying to get that dick. You know what I mean? It's almost like it, it really isn't even trade. But like I said, don't be acting like you don't know. 
what the fuck is going on and shit. Keep it a fucking stack. It feel like, I'm gonna keep it real divine feminine, it feel like some fake ass shit going on. I don't know who's in here, who this message was for today or what, but it feels like people trying to act like they uh, are trying to change like the dynamics of this divine shit. We didn't write this book, so you ain't gonna rewrite it, divine feminine. Be aware of that shit in the next seven days. Let's put some uh, people out here. This message is weird. I, I don't even know what this gonna sound like, divine feminine. And this me sober, G. <laughs> wow. Kurt Cobain. Yeah, I told you, the locust. The squatter spirit, they keep saying that. The squatter spirit. Be aware of the spirit of depression, divine feminine, anxiety. It's uh, roaming in the next seven days. It finds a place and it stays. Look, motherfucker just leaned all up on your shit like, bitch, I just waxed this motherfucker. Get your ass off my car type shit. Motherfucker come, cops, come and try to snatch my crops. Same shit, Cypress Hill. You know what I mean? Same shit. Be aware of Cypress Hill, divine feminine, in the next seven days and shit depression be aware of hanging around i'm telling you that's why i said i when i told you about uh mark chapter 5 30 when it said jesus noticed at once that the healing power had gone out of him but luckily you know what i'm saying the, luckily number one that's jesus so i mean i'm sure he was always replenished by the father so it made him know never mind but we ain't jesus so when somebody who is not a faithful servant of god touches the hem of your garment divine feminine or touches you or comes in contact with you this is what the fuck they leave you know what I'm saying? Be aware of that shit, G. You can't afford that shit. Some of y'all, like I said, who've been digmatized, that's one of those squatter spirits too, and be aware. That's why you feel like this. It's some type of obsessive feeling here, Divine Feminine. Be aware of being obsessive over something in the next seven days. Seven of Cups, Crossroads, least likely to wash their hands after taking the shit. Too many but Bob Dylan fell out and flipped over throat chakra card on the seven of cups the crossroads least likely to wash their hands after taking a shit yeah keeping it a fucking stack you know what I'm saying like I said it ain't about us it ain't about me it ain't about people you know what I mean keeping it real it's about keeping it real with your fucking self your higher self and shit throat chakra and shit speak it you know what I mean like it's almost like you're only Fooling you, Divine Feminine. Be aware of that shit in the next seven days. Be aware also of somebody uh, just talking fucking bullshit. I don't even know who the fuck this is. Seven of Cups with the Bob Dylan card. This is a motherfucker just spewing straight bullshit. Be aware of that shit. This is uh, like that meme I told y'all. Be aware of taking advice from somebody you wouldn't even uh, take criticism from. That's what the fuck this shit is. A motherfucker that don't even speak up on their own life and shit should not be speaking up on yours. Thank you. <laughs> Moving the fuck on. Be aware of that shit in the next seven days. Motherfuckers that ain't got they shit together trying to sell you some shit. Trying to get you to do some shit. Be aware of that. This is like people not closing the door behind them. Be aware, divine feminine, of people coming to like initiate things with you. They Like uh, relationships or anything like that. And they haven't completely... Close the chapter somewhere else. Be aware of that shit. Because I feel like in that instance, you will find something out about that person. Once you have already walked down this crossroad with this person, you'll find out some shit about their ass that's going to make you feel like shit. Really. I don't know what that is, but they're making me feel like you don't know enough. <clears throat> yeah, and I keep trying to belch or something. Yeah, somebody, be aware, Divine Feminist, somebody trying to, Skew some shit. You know what I mean? Like, like purposely confuse you. Be aware in the next seven days. It's probably the fucking locust. Like, no, we're not uh, coming to eat your crops. We're coming to inspect them. Like, oh, okay, well, go ahead. Just go look at them. Hey, just shh, eat all your shit. Eat all your shit. Be aware of being gullible, divine feminine, in the next seven days. And keep your fucking gloves on. 
I don't know. I'm probably gonna see all y'all in gloves now and shit, but look, real shit, I am not playing, G. I will put some fucking gloves on in a minute. I don't give a fuck, especially if I gotta be in a fucking crowd. I think the fuck not. Three of swords, four of cups, most likely to be fire for sexual harassment. Eric Clapton, the software guy. Eric Clapton brings in bagels, locks, cream cheese, donuts, and coffee for the whole office, even after they fucked Eric over the day before and rolled him up, threatening to take his job and shit. That's why I said, be aware of being fucking gullible. I told you, uh, Eric be skate skating in the coffee and rubbing his balls all on the donuts and shit. But y'all be like, nom, 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 nom. we love donuts, Eric. But Eric most likely to be fired for sexual harassment type shit. Be aware, Divine Feminine, this motherfucker at your job too. Mm -hmm. I feel like this a real person <laughs> all of a sudden and shit. Like uh, be aware of the person who bring all the snacks and shit, be looking at your titties and shit. You know what else the other message I heard? Telepathic titties. I don't know what that means, Divine Feminine, but I heard telepathic titties. I don't know. I don't know what telepathic titties are and I've been asking since last night. <laughs> what are telepathic titties? Like, Oh, see y'all be, you got to be reminding me. Yeah, y'all got to get my mind out the straight gutter because I'm like telepathic titties. But yeah, crown mother. Yeah, you birth things, divine feminine. You are full of milk and life. Yes, you do have telepathic titties, crown mother. Okay, ew, I like that. Okay, well shit, I want telepathic titties too. Moving on. Divine feminine, be aware of, uh, like I said, you trying to sell yourself. You know what I'm saying? Bringing bagels, lots of cream cheese and all this other shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's almost like you ain't got to do all that shit, Divine Feminine. Be aware of thinking you got to do extra to get a motherfucker's attention. Fuck them. Shit, if you got to do all that fucking shit, maybe that's why, I don't know. Shit, are you the fucking star? That was the three of cups with the star. And I'm like, somebody singing and dancing. I, don't, I hope that this is in regards to some actual, like, uh, acting gig. And this ain't you just trying to show off for a motherfucker. Because this look like somebody trying to be, like, all extra to get somebody's attention, Divine Feminine. And it's, it's bullshit. It's like you selling yourself. You know what I mean? Be aware of that shit in the next seven days. Somebody is going to get fired for sexual harassment. Are you going to hear something, Divine Feminine, at your job? This is a, a business uh, a office type of environment. You're going to hear about somebody or getting in trouble or, oh, they sent an investigation, Divine Feminine, into sexual harassment at your job. Be aware in the next seven days. You ain't going to know what the fuck going on. You're going to be like, bitch, I didn't even know Rick looked at my telepathic titties. I didn't even know. Shit, no, I ain't got no problems with him and shit. Rick been staring at your titties that whole time. You just did never, I mean, shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's for somebody. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck going on. But again, they started playing that. Hey, dirty, baby, I got your money. Don't you worry. Like I said, for those that's trying to sell themselves or whatever, that's why I said I felt like that's God trying to tell you, like, don't worry, I got your money, I got everything you want. But some of y'all are still trying to like get it yourself or trying to do it your way. She likes it my way. Like he's trying to do it your way, like you work at Burger King or some shit. That's why you're not accomplishing this shit, Divine Feminine. Whatever it is that you want the most that you're trying to, for these where this applies, not everybody, where that applies, for those that are trying to uh, get someone's attention or trying to get someone to notice them and shit or put themselves out there, that shit's never gonna work. Be aware of that shit. Especially if you consider yourself a divine any fucking thing. You know what I mean? If that's the case, then you gotta abide by the divine law and shit. Now, if you consider yourself just a regular schmegular motherfucker, then go ahead, sell that pussy and pop that shit. You know what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers gonna want that shit all day. But for my bitches that's crown mother and shit and real bananas up in this bitch, you ain't gotta do that shit, man. You fucking crown mother. You got telepathic titties, they said. You know what I'm saying? You uh, you feed. You know what I'm saying? You spiritually feed with them telepathic titties, divine feminine. Come on, man. You ain't gotta sell shit. You give life, bitch. Be aware of not knowing that shit in the next seven days. You are life. Shit. Fuck that. Let's check the outcome. I'm scared to do Divine Masculine tomorrow. Fuck. Shit. Uh, outcome for Divine Feminine. Let's make it good. Make it hot. Make it hot. 
outcome for divine feminine for the next seven days. Nice. Nice. This is the God card. And aunt. And aunt. God card straight came out. I told y'all some of y'all traveling though, going on vacation. I knew y'all were almost done saving up that money. Or driving, flying, something. Uh, this is speeding through life here. That's what that card is. Stick a fork in it, it's done. The chicken came out. Yeah, Divine Feminist. So it looked like your outcome, you speeding through life and doing it your way, that shit's a wrap. A lot of y'all let God take the wheel. Jesus take the wheel. Jesus take the wheel. That's exactly what that is, Divine Feminine. Some of y'all done trying to go your own way. It's not working. That's why I said for those trying to uh, prove themselves, sell themselves, or uh, emulate, or trying to do none of that shit's going to work. I mean, I feel like it temporarily works. Like people see you and shit, but there's nothing that keeps a motherfucker there. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing that keeps... It's almost like once the fuck I eat the food at the restaurant, why the fuck would I still sit here? You know what I'm saying? No entertainment at this bitch is nothing. You know what I'm saying? Nothing else to keep them there. They came for what you sold and now they're fucking gone. There's nothing, nothing else to you, Divine Feminine. I feel like a lot of y'all are done with that shit. You know what I mean? Are done trying to convince people who you are, what you have to offer, all that shit. Fuck all that. It's the only person we should be trying to convince in anything. And not even person. God, period. That's it. The rest of that shit, this look like 3D shit and shit that you used to chase after and things that used to drive you. You know what I mean? They don't drive you no more, Divine Feminine. You done with that shit. That's why I said I feel like it's a big ass divide. I really do. The banana versus the banana peel. Put one on the God card here. Why is God here for the outcome? Not that he shouldn't be, but five of wands came out. Yeah, so uh, Divine Feminine in the next seven days, a lot of us are going to be tested, G. That's what this looks like, a test. He puts us in some situations and shit to see what the fuck we going to do. You know what I mean? So maybe some dick going to be thrown in y'all's face to see if y'all take it. You know what I mean? Or these some something is going to be thrown in your face, Divine Feminine, in the next seven days. And it was definitely sent by God. You will be tested in the next seven days. Conflicted by something. Uh, tempted by something. Yeah, King of Wands tried to come out. It feels like a menses, some menses, or some type of uh, competition, or it's maybe some bitch is gonna try to uh, compete with you or some shit. It feels like competition, Divine Feminine, but I feel like it's put there purposely. He wanna see if you a banana or the banana peel. If you gonna slip on the banana peel. What with that Five of Wands? Why is this Five of Wands here? What is this test God is a... Uh, Giving Divine Feminine. Ten of Cups. Five of Wands with the Ten of Cups. Divine Feminine, there may be some uh, fights and some shit going on within the family in the next seven days. If that's the case, I feel like God's plan. I don't know why. But maybe for you to see, like I said, maybe the blinders come off, Saul, and this is when you become fucking Paul. You know what I'm saying? Because this will be... Saul headed to Damascus and shit, you know what I'm saying, with the blinders on, thinking he going to go do the right thing, persecuting motherfuckers and shit and all that shit. God took the blinders off and shit, he became Paul. I feel like that's what happens in the next seven days. These are the blinders, five of wands. This is when they came off, ten of cups. But I feel like they don't come off for everybody, to be honest with you, Divine Feminine. That'd be impossible, really. If that's the case, then we'd all be saved and there'd be no need for us to all fucking be here. So obviously not everybody's blinders come off in the next seven days. But I feel like everybody is tested though. Your happiness is tested as well, Divine Feminine. And what makes you happy? Uh, Divine Feminine, I'm being told that uh, a lot of you guys are gonna be uh, uh, put in situations that agitate you, irritate you, and things like that to see if you do see that silver lining. If you do know that thy rod and thy staff comfort you. Because they tell me when things don't go your way, you forget. For some of y'all, you forget. You forget all about the whole journey, the God part. All, you turn totally into this shit. Five of Wands. It's like night and day and shit. That's some of y'all in the next seven days. So you can't be the banana and the banana peel is what they're saying. God is going to make you choose which one you're going to be. And you're going to be held accountable. If you say you a fucking banana, then you're going to be a fucking banana. Which means that some of y'all going to lose some shit. 
You know what I'm saying? You a banana, then you got to lose the peeling. Shit, you may have to lose your divine masculine, job, moving, friends, whatever the fuck. This mentality, TV, social, whatever the fuck it is. You will have to lose it if you want to be a banana and not the banana peel. The shit we discard and throw in the fucking trash. I feel like he don't give a shit either way. Talking about God, to be honest with you. I really do. I feel like it's at the point where, uh, cause uh, he knows all things. So he probably knew you were going to turn into a banana or a banana pill anyway. You know what I mean? But he's testing you. We all have free will. One on the speed, man. Ten of swords. Yeah. I'm telling you, y'all putting the end to that shit. That's why I said earlier, the things that y'all used to want, like the dreams you used to have, things that you used to think were like, man, I just want this person. I just want to be this. I just want to live. All that shit changes divine feminine death to that shit. Ten of swords with the speed through life card. I'm telling you a lot of shit just don't matter. Divine feminine. It feels like a cord cutting, but it feels like a cord cutting of Hmm. Hold on. It's, they said 3D demo, 3D demographic, 3D demographics, demographics. Huh? <laughs> Hold on y'all. Yeah. Detaching from 3D demographics. I don't know. I mean, I guess I know what that means, but they be wording stuff so weird sometimes. 3D demographics. Yeah, I mean, I know, like, demographics, things around us, environment, where we live, people, places, things that, you know, in 3D. Earthly things. Yeah, same shit. They, can't y'all just say that, man? <laughs> 3D demographic things. 3D third dimensional demographics. Okay. Third dimensional demographics, divine feminine. One on the chicken. It's like people gonna tell you shit, divine feminine. You're gonna be like, I ain't even know. No, I ain't even heard that shit. I ain't even, it's like you don't even know what the fuck's going on in the world unless somebody tells you. And it's not that you're um, not aware of what's going on. I feel like you're aware because I mean, that's what our intuition and shit is for. God's always gonna lead us to the information that we need. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me, right? Shawty, keep it on and pop it. You know what I mean? We know to keep it moving and shit. So he always lets us know what to be aware of. But it makes me feel like, uh, Things that everybody else is like freaking out about. Like, oh my God, did you hear? Did you see? You're going to be like, no, it just doesn't affect you. This is like stick a fork in that shit. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Hey, where that Kendrick at? I'm willing to die for this shit. What? What's that shit? Put my Bible down. Go eye for an eye for this shit. Hey, for real. I've been stumped. I ain't been stumped down in front of my mama, but I've been stumped down in front of a family member before. That's some real shit. Bitch, I'm my grandma's dead. So ain't nobody praying for me. I'm on your head. Hey. What's that song? Auntie on the phone told them be cautious. I don't do it for the gram. I do it for Compton. Yeah, it's like you don't do it for the gram. You do it for Compton. <laughs> Divine feminine. That's the outcome for the next seven days. That's why I said you ain't selling yourself. You ain't doing this shit for the attention of others. You doing it for Compton, a.k.a. God. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a purpose behind your movement now. That's the outcome for the next seven days. It ain't about the third dimensional demographics no more. It's about the 5D, 6D, and everything else uh, dimensional demographics and shit now. Okay. What is that song? They keep playing it. I'm sorry, y'all. I'll take your fucking life for this shit. Uh, they playing it. Oh, yeah. If I gotta, if I gotta slap a pussy ass nigga, I'ma make it look sexy. Yes. If I gotta go hard on a bitch, I'ma make it look sexy. Boom, 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 boom. I pull up, hop out, air out, made it look sexy. What? They won't take me out my element. Nah, take me out my element. Yeah. I told you I don't give a fuck about this 3D dimensional demographic shit. King of Pentacles with the fucking chicken. Who give a fuck? Who give a fuck? You know what I'm saying? In the Bible, God did tell them to take the word, their walking stick, and their shoes and shit. That's all the fuck you need. You'll be provided for. You know what I mean? Period. I swear by it. 
I swear by it. And because we are in 2020, of course we need money. I'm not saying quit your job and you know what I'm saying? Just figure out, find crust of bread on the street. Nah, nah. But I'm saying he's going to provide. That's why you don't worry about shit like this. That's why you ain't worried about no fucking husband, no fucking divine masculine. When I'm a fucking be married, when the, none of that shit, divine feminine, none of that shit. Look, stick a fork in and it's done. Some of y'all are going to quit your job and possibly lose that shit. Some of y'all going to go to that motherfucker because you know they love firing a the motherfucker. They don't like to call you and shit. They let you drive all the way to that bitch. Boop. Right. And be like, Tim, can you come in the office, please? And straight fire your ass. Bitch, you could have called me. Right. That type shit. That's for somebody. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know if you the motherfucker with the sexual harassment shit. I don't know. But that's for somebody. Somebody lose their job in the next seven days. You either quit or you uh, get fired. That's somebody. But collectively, that's why I said I feel like y'all are disconnecting from third dimensional demographics. That's exactly what the fuck this shit is. Three third dimensional. Yes. Demographics. Period. Somebody, uh, I'm picking up on this fucking drunk ass driver or this man driving fast again, whoever this is, some masculine energy, uh, that motherfucker need to slow the fuck down. I feel like honestly, uh, this probably already happened. There's a masculine energy that got into a car accident, did not survive. And it is causing a big rift in the family. But I feel like it's going to bring the family together, to be honest, like it causes the rift first. And then it brings everybody together. This was God's plan. You know, like when some people die in a family, it brings people together. And when people die, sometimes it brings people together. I'm picking that up for somebody, Divine Feminine, in the next seven days. Mm. Okay. Five of Wands, Ten of Cups here with the God card. Damned if I do, if I don't. Oh. <laughs> now I gotta go hear some Kendrick. Niggas thought they wasn't gonna see me, huh? <laughs> now I gotta go hear that shit. Lover's card came out on top of the Five of Wands with the Ten of Cups and the God card here. Divine Feminine, for those that are crown mother and bananas and shit, I feel like there is love on the horizon for you, G. For those that just fought for their own happiness, your own... uh. Ten of Cups for you, specific, not for you and nobody else, but I mean strictly for your own happiness and to satisfy the Most High and always please Him, always. I feel like there's a reward there. There's happiness there. There's love coming and all that shit. Possibly in the next seven days. But I kind of feel like, uh, depending on if you prove yourself as a banana or a banana peel here. Because remember, I feel like we all being tested. So not everybody gets this shit. Some of y'all actually end up just like arguing with your lover and shit. And God is causing that shit. Because some of y'all need to leave that shit alone. Some of y'all need to leave that motherfucker alone, period. This divine counterpart. And y'all, maybe y'all aren't talking. These are the first swords that come out. So y'all ain't even talking. So this makes me feel like you need to leave him alone, divine feminine. And it's not that you are in contact with this person. But you are treating this divine masculine like he is God is what they're telling me here. That's going to be stopped. Or it's either going to be stopped divine feminine by you. Or God is going to continue to allow you to do that. But then that that gets stopped. It's almost like, OK, well, then shit, you out of divine university type shit. I don't feel like there's a, a middle a middle anymore. Divine feminine. I really don't. I feel like God is testing the divine feminine to wake up. And the first thing they think about is they divine feminine. You will be tested for sure in the next seven days. Because Divine Masculine didn't wake you to fuck up that morning. God did. So to think about Divine Masculine the first thing when you wake up in the morning, yeah, he going to put an end to that shit. He going to put an end to that shit some type of way. I don't know how, but something's going to wake you to fuck up. And you know what? They're telling me to tell y'all this story, and I hate telling this story because it makes me feel so fucking bad, but it's real shit. I used to fuck my neighbor, right? <clears throat> like a few years back and shit. And, uh... It was some old low vibe and shit or whatever. And he had moved out and shit and uh, moved in with some girl. But he didn't tell me that shit. And he was like, no, I'm just moving to wherever the fuck. Long story short and shit, I was pissed off. I was sending that motherfucker messages like, you a bitch. You a ho You know, that old low vibing ass bullshit. I was doing that shit. I did that shit for probably like a month straight because the motherfucker never hit me. And we was fucking like a lot. You know what I mean? Like we was just, it was, I mean, we was next door neighbors. And then the shit just stopped. So I was butt hurt like a motherfucker, right? And I was so mad and shit, and I was sending this motherfucker messages and cussing them out and shit. 
And my brother got murdered and shit, like, during that time. And I felt so fucking bad because I'm like, damn, all that time that I spent arguing with this fucking stupid ass man over some dick, right? Dickmatized, right? Arguing with this fucking man over this bullshit and calling him all them names, man. I could have utilized all that time with my brother. All of it. It's that type shit, Divine Feminine. For the ones that's waking up in the morning thinking about another motherfucker first before God, I don't, I'm not saying someone's going to be taken away from you, but you are going to be shown why it's so much more important to focus on the things that are important, on the people that love you, the people that are here, and the people that love you back, and the people that you love. You're going to realize why that shit's important, because like they said, the people who inspire you won't be here long. My brother was very inspiring to me. You know what I'm saying? One of the purest fucking souls... I ever met he never got to have kids I never seen him with a girlfriend nothing you know what I'm saying he was about to be a truck driver 25 and shit got murdered and shit in his fucking sleep that type shit you know what I mean and I'm over here chasing another motherfucker that went and uh moved with some bitch who had dirty feet because real shit you know what I mean I'm like how fucking dumb was I I never forgave myself for that shit this this type shit divine feminine in the next seven days for those that are thinking about a man before they think about the most high when they wake up in the morning. The first thing, too. That's some cold shit. Be careful of that shit, Divine Feminine. Because he'll wake you up so fucking quick from that shit. And I'll, t I'll tell you this much. That's really the main reason. And that wasn't even my Divine Masculine. That was some whack-ass motherfucker. So maybe that's why my Divine Masculine didn't take me down, down as much. Because I had already learned one of the harshest lessons I had ever learned in my life with just a karmic ass motherfucker. So I was thankful that uh, I had learned that lesson with the karmic and not with my divine masculine. My divine masculine came when I, right when I came back from burying my brother. So it was odd how this shit happened and shit. So everything happens for a reason. Like I said, God puts shit in the plan and puts shit in the play where I will never chase a motherfucker just for that fucking reason again because I would hate to look back over the years and be like, damn, I was here and missed all this time with my grandmother, my kids, my brother, my sister, my uncles, you know what I mean? Like people that I know for sure love me to chase this motherfucker or to not focus on God or my higher self. Like that was just the lowest vibe in me. I never want to be that bitch again and I never fucking will. That's what this is telling me for y'all in the next seven days. Mature meant pubic hair. Yeah, I don't know who this man is that's driving and shit and all this other shit. I'm being told, Divine Feminine, there is some masculine energy that could possibly have a heart attack behind the wheel of a car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I told you, God taking motherfuckers up out of here, okay? Are y'all not paying attention? Y'all better get right, shit. I mean, not to scare nobody and be like, we gonna die tomorrow and shit, but I mean, once you like... I mean, shit, are we really, I mean, I don't want to put that out there, but some of us ain't really worried about what happens after this body leaves, you know what I mean? Like, cause it's just another dimension and shit. So I feel like for some of y'all, y'all don't even worry about shit like this, but I'm picking up on somebody that's like dying behind the wheel of a car, G, real shit. I feel like that wakes somebody the fuck up too. Divine, one of you divine feminines get woken up because of that. Because it almost puts life into perspective for you. What the fuck have you been focusing on? What did you deem important? It's like everything that I deemed important before my brother was killed, I literally was like, that was the fucking dumbest shit I ever. Like, it just, everything just changed. I feel like a lot of you guys have those instances in the next seven days. Hopefully not that uh, detrimental where you got to lose somebody, but you almost ha always have to lose something divine feminine to make you appreciate something else, period. So yes, divine feminine, there is something. Some of y'all could just lose a car. I don't know. Car could get repoed, accident, some shit, but there's something that uh, you don't have anymore. Yeah, privileged lady, told you. Look, with the king of pentacles, it could be this whole divine union shit. You know what I mean? With the privileged lady, the king of pentacles and all this shit, but this feels like 3D dimensional demographic things like luxury and shit like that. I feel like a lot of y'all, uh, God has put a hold or he puts a block on it to see what you gonna do to see where your heart is. It makes me feel like uh, there's a divide divine feminine. I feel like those that turn into the banana and the crown mother, once this test shit right here passes and shit, I feel like, uh, you know, that you pass too. You'll know. I don't know how you'll know, but they're, they're telling me you'll know. Some of y'all are going to meet someone, come into union with someone. It may not be your divine masculine, but they're telling me it's going to be someone that you would want to be with. 
you know what I'm saying, someone way better than you even imagined, but it's because you trusted God and you passed the test and you didn't become a banana peel, you stayed the banana. You went after your own happiness, whether you had someone or not and shit. You love yourself. I love myself. God is your lover. You know what I mean? Like, that's the only lover that I have. You know what I mean? It's like the Mac. He's my uncle, my brother, my sister, baby. For those that love God like the Mac and shit, I feel like you winning in the next seven days. Real shit. I feel like there is something that still gets, you do hear about someone, I don't know if they die, divine feminine, car accident or something, divine feminine, but there is some masculine energy that something happens to, and it wakes a lot of y'all the fuck up in the next seven days, real shit. Some of y'all relationship just ends. Some of them maybe a uh, motherfucker move out or move out of state. It could be something like that. Some of them, yes, car accident. Uh, I see, like I said, some death here. I do. You know what I mean? But it wakes you to fuck up. The thrill is gone. BB King on top of the God card, five of wands, ten of cups, and the lovers here. Yeah, a lot of y'all... Uh, who were fighting or waiting and trying to sell themselves and shit to get noticed by some masculine energy, that shit get old and tired real quick. You just stop doing it. You, it's almost like a, it's like performing at an empty fucking hall every night and shit. And you putting, singing your fucking heart out and ain't nobody fucking paying attention or ain't nobody there. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like you, wouldn't you want to do that for people who are like, appreciate your art, your talent? God is, I mean right there you know what i mean are you singing for him you know what i mean are any of the things that you're doing are you doing them for him i feel like a lot of y'all ask yourself that in the next seven days a lot of y'all realize that you there is no thrill that's why that kurt cobain and all that shit was out there and that you have no drive and no motivation because god is not the forefront of your life period he came out first that's the first thing you should think about when you wake up and the last thing you should think about when you go to sleep. Real shit ain't meant. I ain't even playing. And I think about all kind of fuck shit throughout the day. But when I first wake up and when I go to bed, that's the last thing I think about. Real shit. Those that don't have that mindset at least start there. That's why there's no thrill, no drive, no motivation to do shit because God is not first in your life. Period. Point blank. I ain't got shit else to say about that shit. A lot of y'all realize that though in the next seven days. One on the speed man, ten of swords, mature man. But I can't take a knee because I'm wearing all white. Yeah. So some of you uh, divine feminines, I am being told that uh, some, I don't know if there's a divine masculine out there marrying somebody else is what I'm being told. I'm hearing some of you divine feminines are going to find out a divine masculine is marrying somebody else. That's why this chicken is here with this king of pentacles and the privileged lady here. So he couldn't take a knee because he's wearing all white in regards to you. But uh, he going to do it with another bitch. But that don't have shit to do with you divine feminine. That don't make you no less a divine feminine. Shawty keep it on and popping, right? Thy rod and thy staff come for me. If anybody keeping God first, yeah, that shit hurt. I ain't saying it ain't going to hurt and shit, but... I mean, shit, you gonna dwell on that shit or you gonna keep it fucking moving? You know what I mean? It's almost like you don't have a choice, Divine Feminine. I feel like God is tired of seeing people wallow in some shit that he's already put a stamp, sign, seal, delivered and shit. Like, bitch, it's a wrap. If I say fucking no, it's a no, bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a no for me, dog. If, if God Randy Jackson some shit, I feel like he's like, why are you still fucking sitting here? You know what I mean? It's that type shit, Divine Feminine. I feel like there's an end to that shit in the next seven days. Whether you want it to, whether you end it yourself, let's say it that way, whether you make the conscious decision to become Paul, you know what I'm saying? Change from Saul to Paul or God does it for you. You know what I'm saying? It's either going to be by force or by choice, divine feminine. I'll tell you that much in the next seven days. Put one on the chicken, the king of pentacles and the privileged lady. Yeah, queen. Yeah. But we will rock you. That's what I heard. Divine Feminine, there's going to be some shakeup. I don't know what it is. But there's something. It feels like a good shakeup. But it doesn't look good. As far as, like I said, in regards to my brother. Now, I, ain't, I want my brother here. Shit. Period. But it changed my whole fucking life. You know what I mean? It changed my whole life. It made me appreciate my family more. Every fucking day. 
Like, I mean, and people say that, mm, yeah, I appreciate, nah, it ain't, it's, it's, it's something that when your world get rocked and shit, my brother, I mean, my dad was murdered too. And that didn't even, uh, shake me up like that. You know what I mean? Cause my dad was no, my dad was a bank robber. Crazy shit y'all, real shit. Fun fact about the nun. My mom is a mortgage banker and my dad was a bank robber and shit. That's why I got the best of two worlds and shit, right? It makes sense though to me. At the end of the day, five of wands, 10 of cups, bank robber, mortgage banker type shit, right? That's why I'm saying it's almost like uh, it didn't affect me like that. This is something that's going to rock you, Divine Feminine, with some masculine energy. Like I said, maybe it could be a grandfather maybe passes away or gets sick suddenly or uh, you hear about someone breaking up or if someone breaks up, somebody gets married. There's something Divine Feminine in regards to a masculine energy that's going to rock you, but it's going to propel you straight into crown mother with your telepathic titties and bitch you own i feel like it's a bittersweet feeling divine feminine to be honest with you i don't know what this is and i pray that everybody ends up safe and everybody's family is gucci you know what i'm saying in the next seven days but there is something that causes some conflict between you but you learn to appreciate uh what's around you every day and you damn sure start paying homage and more respect to god damn sure whatever it is so good luck with that shit i hope this reading didn't spook you uh it probably pissed a lot of y'all off getting no fucks i really don't when the spiritual messages come out so i, I just don't moving on but uh good luck with this shit i'm kind of interested to see what divine masculine has tomorrow because uh this masculine energy at the bottom is kind of making me feel like it's him there's something that that happens and not bad. I know if divine masculines are listening, no, I'm not saying you're going to die or none of that shit. But there's something that's rocking your world, G. That's rocking your world. That's going to wake your divine feminine up to either keep moving on to not get stuck with you. So maybe you do something that sets the whole fucking shit back. I don't fucking know, partner, but we going to see. All right. All right, divine feminine. That's been your uh, what the fuck is up with you reading for the next seven. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Divine Feminine. I don't give a fuck. I don't. Info for private readings will be below the video. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, Yeah, that's it. I will talk to y'all later. I am going to start the individuals today. I promise, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Love you. Bye.